Hi, I'm Ronnie, and this is Perky, and in this video series, we will be making this cat exercise wheel. I will talk about the design features and show you the assembly. Later on, I will show how I train the cats to run in the exercise wheel, some of them with a bit more success than the others. Then I will add some extra features to the exercise wheel. I want to add the speedometer and the odometer, and I will show you how I designed and added this to see how the cats perform when running in this wheel. Lastly, I will talk about the math involved in building an exercise wheel, the gear ratios, I'll talk about the cost, I'll talk about how to calculate how big it should be and why it should be this size. So if you like building things, or you like cats, or you like to see cats helping me to build things, this is the video for you. Just over a year ago, we got this cat. This is Parky. And while she is a very nice cat, she is very active. During the summer, this is not a problem because she's quite active outside. But in the winter, this becomes a problem because uh, she doesn't go out that much. Parky, near. Parky, near. Parky, near. And I've decided to make a cat wheel for her to run in. Now, step one in making a cat wheel is to measure the length of the cat and uh, to make sure that when she runs in the wheel it is comfortable and large enough so approximately 45 to 50 centimeters excluding the tail and that means that I will make the diameter approximately one meter on the inside here is donkey and he's up to be measured next. And lastly, we have uh, Camille. She's the smallest of the cats. The longest cat is Donkey. Uh, he's uh, about 50 centimeters in length. And I will make the wheel big enough for him to run in. Perky is slightly shorter, although I think she might be a bit bigger in a year or two's time. So hopefully the extra space would be nice. And then Camille is the shortest cat. And I think a diameter, an inner diameter of one meter would be fine for these cats in the wheel that I'm planning to build. On to designing. And I'll be using Coral Draw to start off with. And later probably Fusion 360. And we'll see how we go from there. This is probably going to take the longest bit of the project. And um, let's get started. The plans for the cat exercise wheel is available for free. Find the link to them in the description below. I designed the wheel to be built from 3mm plywood. But it is of course possible to build it from a variety of other sizes. Or even 3D print it with small changes to the plans. I provide both the 3D and 2D models. So use whatever suits your needs. I also include instructions with the plans to help you build your own. So after designing the cat wheel, uh, I came up with uh, this design uh, for the segments and I've decided to go with uh, these cut off pieces of plywood that I had from a previous project and I have a lot of them. So I designed it to uh, use as much of the wood as possible. There will be a bit of waste afterwards. These will form puzzle pieces that will build into two big rings and I will laminate it to make it nine millimeters thick. So after a bit of strength testing to see if the wood is strong enough to hold the cats when they jump on it, I've decided that this is the way to go. So I assembled the two rings and they are complete, they're quite big. And the next step is to attach the plates on which the cats will run on the inside of the ring and I have them cut to size. It's uh, 26 of these and if you come a bit closer you'll see that on the outside of the ring I have these images of cats that is running. And as the wheels spin it will seem like there's an animation of a cat running on the outside as a cat is running on the inside of the rings. But first let's attach the plates to the rings after of course a bit of sanding and cleaning up everything. I used a jig to center the holes on the flat inner areas of the ring 
to ensure the plates were attached in the correct place. For the base, I will be using this piece of tough leaving the plywood. The outline of the ring was traced on the wood before the plates were added. All the odd base pieces were cut with a jigsaw. So I completed the base, uh, the main pieces that will hold everything in place and I'm quite happy with this. This is the first time I used a jigsaw. It's not perfect, uh, there are some small imperfections, but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So let me assemble the base and then see if everything works together. I'm quite happy. So the next step is to use these spacers, they fit in here. I have some small parts to index everything to be exact and then I'll assemble the bearing housing unit thingy and there's four around and then a rod will be placed inside and the large wheel can be placed on the small wheels that I still need to make. For the wheels I'm going to use this rod and I'm going to mount uh, the wheels on the rod and the wheels I'm going to make I'm going to use this hole saw I'm going to cut pieces of 12 millimeter wood and then I'm going to turn it to be a cone shape. This will make the big wheel center very nicely when it's running. And it works on the same principle as train wheels that slope. And I will talk about this in a later video, the math of how the slopes were designed and how the wheels work and so on. But first I need to make this. So I'll cut the rod, cut the wheels and turn them on the lathe to get them conical shape. So on to making the wheels and that's almost one of the final steps in this process. With everything complete, it is now time to do the assembly. I'm really happy with how these wheels turned out. They're nice and cone shaped, so they have a very nice slope. And basically, I just have to put everything together. So on the plans, if you are going to build this along, the schematic shows all the pieces that needs to be in order. But basically, you have the bearing housing with a small bearing inside. And then there's a series of washers and wheels. And this all gets attached to the rods. And um, I'll put it together. Let's see if the basic thing works as it should. And then we can go from there. So with everything running, I will get the wheel and place it on and see if everything fits and if it runs. So it seems to be working. I will find out what the clicking sound is and try to fix it, but other than that, it seems to be working. After a bit more fiddling, I found out what the clicking was and I fixed that, so now it runs smoothly. So there's not a lot of friction and I think the cat will run on it quite nicely. The tracking of the wheel worked better than expected and it centers itself even when a cat is running on it. The next few steps involve finishing the wheel and the first part that I want to talk about is this carpet. I'm really excited about this carpet. It's only a thin strip so it was really cheap and it's four meters in length which is which is quite nice because the inner diameter of the wheel is one meter the circumference is pi so that means 3.14 something meters and this carpet will fit perfectly. It will overlap a bit or I will cut it down to size both lengthwise and the width and glue it in place. But before I do that, I'm going to remove all the plates and glue them in place as well. There's a bit of play because it's only held with two screws in each plate. And I can recommend that if you make this to either add more screws or glue the plates in place, there should not be any problems with using it like this, but I like it a bit more secure. 
and that means on to finishing the wheel and then on to training the cats to use it. I found that I needed to add a cover to each side to ensure that the wheel was not sabotaged. Thanks to these Patreon members for their support that allowed me to provide ample treats during the training process. So this is the final result and I'm really happy with it, but more importantly, I think the cats are happy with it. They are using it and I think in the future they will use it a bit more. In the next video, I will show you how I trained them, some of them with a bit more success than the others. The plans are linked in the description below if you would like to build your own. And if you're still watching, uh, consider subscribing to see more of this type of content. Uh, please leave a comment to tell me which of the cats are your favorite and um, we'll see if we can share some more of them in the next video. And that means until then, cheers! Parky, near. Parky, near. Parky, near.